Beatrice Bijou made her first appearance before a judge facing four counts of attempted murder. After Stewart police say she intentionally drove her car into a group of people outside the Fresh Market Tuesday, sending one to the hospital and then trying to run down a witness. Asking for at least $250,000 on each count of the attempted murder. According to the arrest report, police found Bijou after a witness followed her. Later that day, she told an officer the voices in her head had told her to kill the people. The report goes on to say Bijou later told police she intentionally wanted to kill the people she struck with the car, and she also wanted to kill herself. Beatrice Bijou was born in South Florida in 1990. From a young age, she was always driven to succeed. She attended Jensen Beach High School where she was an exceptional student. In the 11th grade, she began taking college courses at the Indian River State College for extra credits. She ultimately finished in the top of her class. After graduating high school, Beatrice attended Florida International University. She earned her bachelor's degree in business administration in less than three years and graduated in 2012. Pushing herself further, she attended law school at Nova Southeastern University. She excelled there as well, graduating in the top of her class in 2016. That same year, she passed the bar exam on her first attempt and became a practicing attorney at the age of 25. She started out as an associate attorney in a personal injury law office. Personal injury? I handle that. Business law? I handle that. Immigration? I handle that. Family law? I handle that. Criminal defense? I handle that. But not long after that, Beatrice decided she wanted her own law office, and so she started Bijou Injury Law. As the managing partner and head of litigation, Beatrice battled and won court cases against several Fortune 500 companies and secured over $500,000 for her clients. Have you been in an accident? Are you experiencing pain and suffering, mental anguish, loss of enjoyment of life, medical bills, property damage? I'm attorney Beatrice Bijou. Managing Partner and Head of Litigation at the Bijou Law Firm. In 2019, Beatrice said she was diagnosed with schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. But, she regularly took her medication and continued to live a normal life. Around the new year of 2022, she began dating a guy named Kyle Luce. They got engaged a few weeks later in early February. On February 22, 2022, Beatrice was driving around the city of Stewart, Florida in her black Kia. According to witnesses, she pulled into the parking lot of the Fresh Market grocery store. She circled the parking lot a few times and then drove off. Next, she drove around to the outside dining area and sat idle for a moment. Then, Beatrice punched the gas and slammed her car into the crowd of unsuspecting people at 30 to 35 miles per hour. She struck four bystanders and one of them had to be airlifted to the hospital. A witness ran over to Beatrice's car and tried to stop her, but she allegedly turned and tried to run him over as well. He luckily was not hit. Then she drove away as if nothing happened. One of the witnesses at the scene followed her car while calling the police. When officers showed up and tried to pull her over, she refused to stop. Instead, she drove to the Stewart police station where she was arrested without incident. I hit someone at the Fresh Market. Why did you do that? Because I hear voices telling me to kill people. I hit them with my car at the Fresh Market. And what did you, what did you do at Fresh Market, you're saying? I ran people over yeah. with my car. A very bizarre interrogation followed. How far did you go in school? I'm an attorney. You're an attorney? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, I've been hearing voices telling me to kill myself and to kill other, other people. When did that start? I have a gun at my parents' house right now. I got diagnosed with bipolar and schizophrenia. Okay. When was that? 2019. Okay. And it ruined my life. What are my charges? Uh, probably four counts of aggravated battery and uh, another count of aggravated assault. I attempted to murder that woman. Well, confer with the state attorney and they don't want to charge attempted murder right now. But if you're adamant, you know, you can always explain that to your defense attorney, but I'm sure they're willing to. No, I want the attempted murder charge. You want the attempted murder charge? Yeah. Well. Because I tried to kill her and I would like to walk out of here right now. The two don't go hand in hand, okay? What? You can't try to kill people and then just walk free. We fed you on. I can try and kill you. That's not going to go well. Yes, it, it will go well. Yeah. 
No, I'm not going to sit down. I'm not I'm not going to sit down. I'm not playing games either. All right. No. I don't want to hurt you. I'm going to kill as many people as I can. That's not going to happen. Okay? Listen, Beatrice, please sit down. We're being very nice to you. We're being very nice to you. No one wants to hurt you. If we charge you with the attempted murder, would you sit down? Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Then sit down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Take care of it. We'll change we'll change the charge. Beatrice's fiance was also interviewed, and he seemed to be just as confused about the situation as everyone else. Can you tell me what the police report says about this? Yes. She went to the fresh market. She was down like one of the parking stalls, then just drove into all the people that were standing and sitting on the sidewalk and then said that she wanted to kill them. Is that normal for her? Is that like, how long have you guys been together? Since New Year's. The first six weeks. It was great. From her voice, she said that she was trying to kill them? Yeah. 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 Really? That, that was it, yeah. She just said it to the I, Yeah, she said it multiple, multiple times. Did she know these people? No. Based on her confession and the eyewitness testimony, Beatrice was booked in the Martin County Jail on four counts of attempted murder at the age of 31. She is being held without bond. On March 21, 2022, she was disbarred by the Florida Bar Association, thus revoking her admission to practice law. Beatrice's next court hearing is on July 12, 2022.